Hi guys, how are you? So this is a very intense video. Um, God, whew, God has been really stern with me. And what, the thing about God, I love the fact that the Holy Spirit, even when he's stern with me, he's so loving. Like he's, he, when he talks to me about certain things, he makes sure that I'm very comfortable. Let me turn off this thing. He makes sure that I'm extremely comfortable when he talks to me, right? To make sure that I'm comfortable, I'm happy, and I'm not feeling, you know, upset or anything. Like, he's very supportive in that way. Um, and just like he warned us about certain things um, to come in the other video relating to the love bombing. Just like he warned us about that. He also, he would warn us about things for us to take heed, to make sure that we don't get ourselves in any danger, or any trouble. And he warns us because he loves us. He loves us, okay? For example, like, he warned me about a comment that was supposed to come in my comment section that was supposed to discourage me. The person's intention was to discourage me. And he showed me the whole paragraph of the comments in vision way before it happened. It didn't even happen yet, but he, he prepared me for it. And then he literally told me, block. <laughs> as soon as I see it, he said, block. So basically, the, the comment was basically to, to try to discourage me into warning you guys about certain things. And that's what usually happens a lot of times when you start warning people about witchcraft or start warning people about the things in the spirit that a lot of us can see. Um, people start to get upset and they say, don't talk about this, don't say this, don't say that. And, and oh, you know, they try to dismiss that there is even an issue going on in the spirit. Look how it's raining hard right now. They try to dismiss that there's even an issue going on in the spirit. So I just want to say before I start this message, viewer discretion is advised, okay? The reason why I'm saying that is because I'm going to describe something very graphic that he showed me. So if you don't want to hear it, you may want to click off now. But I want to show you what he told me, okay? He showed me something in the vision this morning. And he talked to me about things I've been telling you guys. About the ringing in the ears. About certain things. And I understand that there's different reasonings for ringing in the ears. But I definitely explained the difference between a few so people could understand and there's a lot of people that will dismiss it they're so dismissive of this these things it's almost like they're like oh it's just it's just electronics or it's just cell towers it's just this it's just that but what a lot of them don't realize is yes some of that causes it but it also occurs in the spirit too it also happens when there's witchcraft too and I know because I can hear the voice of the Lord and he confirms every single thing that I see and I ask him. He confirms it and I see things in the spirit and he shows me things in the spirit, okay? Um, so last night I heard the ringing again, okay? But the witchcraft version. And I was able to hear it and I heard it around like 3, 4 in the morning. And as I was hearing it, I was also hearing the, t t t the static tick. And when I was hearing a static tick, I started to feel nauseated. I started to feel a headache. I started to feel extremely sick and I felt woozy. It felt like I was drinking. It felt like I, I drank a lot that night, like I was drunk. And then when I opened my eyes, I was like, I knew it was a spell. I knew it was magic. And whenever I feel that, I got up, I got on my knees. I canceled it. I rebuked it. Okay. And when I canceled and rebuked it, I got back up, I went back to bed, and I slept peacefully. And the reason why I'm even mentioning that is so you guys understand the importance of obedience, the importance of not being so quick to dismiss things, because a lot of people dismiss things so much, it starts to be, they start to get attacked. And they're like, where are these attacks coming from? Because you're dismissing the signs that God is showing you something is wrong. You're dismissing all the signs and you're dwelling in the midst of witchcraft being done. So you're dwelling in it. You're sitting in it. And you're not doing anything about it. And then it just keeps piling up and piling up. And whenever they're doing a layered curse, a layered curse or a layered spell is spells being added on top of spells, being added on top of spells, being added on top of spells. Now, I understand that it's not supposed to affect a child of God. A curse cannot, um, a curse will not have a full effect on a child of God. 
if they're a child of God and they're praying and they're denouncing and rebuking. But if you're not doing any of that, the curse is going to be layered. If a curse originally worked the way these witches and warlocks wanted it to work, they wouldn't have to consistently do it every night. They would have did it once and done. Do you get where I'm coming from? They, they would have done it once and done. It's almost like I did it and it's working so I don't have to do it again. Like that's how it would be with them. But the reason why they consistently do it is because they know it's not going to last. They know it's not going to last. They know it's going to wear off. They know it's going to fall apart. They know it's not going to last because you are a child of God. But does it have a bit of effect on you? It does make you sick. It does give you nausea. It does give you headaches. But this is why God tells you to use your authority to denounce, to rebuke, and to cancel. And if you continue listening to these people who lack knowledge... You are going to be just like a lot of these people who are sitting in generational curses, obstacles, and, and stuff going on in their life, and they're not able to move forward. When God mentioned something to me, he mentioned religion. He said the word religion. Now look, the sun's coming out. Holy Spirit, you have a sense of humor. He mentioned the word religion. I'm going to show you what he showed me last night. I'm going to tell you what he showed me last night. Viewer discretion is advised. He showed me a Spanish country. He showed me a dark room. A dark room with a bunch of t things on a table, witchcraft tools on a table. He showed me three jars, three big jars. And in each of these jars, there were heads. Head of men. Three men heads in each of these jars and these jars were filled up with some type of liquid and there's a cover on top of the jars so these heads were soaking in these jars for i don't know how long when he showed me that he specifically said witchcraft after he showed me that he showed me a little boy in the arms of a mother i didn't see the mother i just saw a little boy in someone's arms but i know it's a woman because i saw this whole area here and she was holding the boy and the boy was crying nonstop, crying in agony, crying in pain. Crying. Like, you know that, that, that sorrow cry, like you've lost someone? That was the, one of the guy's heads in the jars was the baby's father. The child's father. The child looked like he was about two years old. He, and it was a Spanish, Spanish uh, baby. And the dad was Spanish. Okay. After he showed me that vision, I'm not going to lie, I was hurtful seeing that. Because there's certain things that we see as we see in the spirit. This is not no dream. This is seeing in the spirit. There's a difference between the dream realm and the spiritual realm. Okay? Me seeing that in the spirit, um, it was heartbreaking. But God came through and he comforted me. And then he said, my people will perish for lack of knowledge. That's what he said. I'm going to read something to you. This is Hosea 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget in thy children. When God is showing seers and prophets certain things, and he is giving us the wisdom to see in the spirit, and he's given us the instructions to tell you guys, do not dismiss it. It's important. When he showed me the head of these people, and he specifically said, my people will perish for lack of knowledge after he showed me all that. What they did in the jar is they put someone's head in the jar. And this is this is this is a, a witchcraft curse. And when you whenever someone puts something in the jar, it's because they're trying to do something like a binding or a long-lasting curse or long-lasting spell. Because they put the, the head of the father in the jar, it's going to affect the child and the family. That is a generational curse that they did to affect the bloodline. And when God meant my people with perish for lack of knowledge, it's because a lot of people don't know this type of stuff and how serious it is. They go on thinking, oh, I don't have to pray or I don't have to do this or I don't have to do that. And you know what? Oh, if you have a curse on you it's because you did something wrong and... That baby was suffering. That baby was innocent. That baby didn't do anything wrong. But that baby was in agony and pain because he's connected to that father's blood. Do you see what I'm, com what I'm saying? Where I'm going with this? So this is why it's so important for us to have these conversations. Because when God said religion, what he's trying to say is 
people have dismissed all this and this is why a lot of God's children are suffering because they don't understand the deeper things that are behind something. You see what I'm saying? This is they don't understand the deeper things that are behind something. There are he's he showed me that to show us the wickedness and the levels that people will stoop to to affect a person's generation. So if a person can put a head in a jar to affect someone's bloodline, you and that's a Spanish country he showed me. You can only imagine the types of things that people will do that's not as bad as that, but to still affect us. I've had visions in the past of candles being lit, of pentagons, upside down pentagons being with candles around it with my name written in the middle of it. And God has shown me this stuff. I have seen altars, demonic altars in my vision with the flowers around it, the the green and the orange and flowers around that dark looking entity um statue looking thing with those flowers around its neck i've literally seen altars and i've literally seen my photo on it and i've seen my kingdom husband's photos on it i've seen my children's photos on it this stuff is real and god is actually upset with the amount of religious people who are dismissing this stuff who are saying, oh, if you did this or you go through this because you did something wrong. No, because there's people who are born into families who, are, who have been doing this and they are affected because they have the same blood. So God does not want there to be any more dismissive of stop talking about this, stop talking about that. No, because people need to understand, people need to wake up. You wonder why you see some Christians are not able to prosper, are not able to succeed when God specifically said, my plan is to prosper you, not to harm you. But why do you see your grandmother, your grandfather, who's been going to church for years struggling? Why is that? Why is that? Because there's something in the bloodline and they think going to church will fix it. But if the church does not have the Holy Spirit and if the church is not being is not teaching about warfare, not teaching about generational curse, not teaching about praying against this stuff, they're dwelling in it. They're sitting in the curses. They're dwelling in it. And not only that, but there's a lot of people, which is in warlocks who are operating through this stuff, who go in the church as a disguise. No difference from the witches and warlocks who are operating in the psych wards in order to keep the people there. No difference from the witches and warlocks who are operating in the police force as masons in order to make it seem like you are crazy and throw you in jail, throw you in a psych ward, even though they know what's really happening going down. No different from there being witches and warlocks disguised as doctors prescribing you and telling you that you have psychosis because you're able to see the spiritual realm you're not able to see the truth anymore i'm not going any more deeper than this but in any workplace any environment there's good and bad i'm going to mention that there's good not everyone's evil there's good and bad there's people that don't even know they don't know this because they don't have knowledge about it but there's a lot of people who know and they're meant to keep you guys from knowing including people in the church does not want people to continue dismissing things If you see people on here really talking about this stuff, stop dismissing them. Because what you don't understand is lives are being saved. Lives are being saved. If you want to live in a a rose-colored glasses type of world, go ahead and do that. But there's a reason why God said he has revealed the hidden mysteries of the kingdom to only certain people. So you can continue keeping the rose-colored glasses on if you want to do that. But we have a job to do. And we have to be obedient. And I'm not speaking just for myself. I'm speaking for the other seers that are out here who have not come to the forefront yet. And they know they're going to come to the forefront. Not only that, but other people who are already on the forefront. And it's not easy for us because the more we... I went from being so peaceful (laughs) for the last like week to all of a sudden getting specific words I had to put out, which literally opened the door for me to start getting a little bit attacked because I was exposed, exposing a lot of things, but I prayed against it. Every time I prayed against it, I felt better. And that's why you have to use your authority while doing what God is telling you to do. It's important. This is the reason why he teaches us this stuff. Because if you don't understand this stuff, and you don't understand how to pray against this stuff, how can you pray for yourself when there's an attempt if you're not being taught about this stuff? How? 
if you're being if you're dismissing it like everybody else how could you fully be equipped to walk for god if you don't even know how to you know how to discern and this is the thing this is the problem anyways i just want to tell you guys what i saw and what god is saying and he said my people will perish for a lack of knowledge so okay so i just wanted to give you guys that information i love you guys i'll talk to you soon bye